Well, hello everyone. So lovely to have you all on the show. Yep. Well, it's really not a show. We can't call it a show. Uh, it's not a television show as such, but it's a Facebook show. <laughs> it's a Facebook broadcast. And so welcome everyone. It's Sunday morning today. And, you know, I was just thinking this is the beginning of the week and how fitting just to be able to dedicate our week to God and Normally we would be getting ready for church, um, families, mothers would be organizing their families and uh, we'd be making plans to leave home, but life has changed and so we have to enjoy church online. So thank you for taking the time just to get up this morning and be part of this little gathering and good morning Sari and Susan and uh, Andre, good morning, Veronica, and welcome everyone. And so today we're looking at strong faith. Um, Isn't it so amazing? I just uh, was going through the uh, those that had connected with us yesterday, and there was somebody from India. Isn't that a blessing? I mean, that God would just give us somebody from India, and just, it's so exciting, you know, this global church of ours this global community is growing and and we really need one another we need to be able to strengthen one another in these times so thank you uh, to the gentleman from india thank you to those from australia canada um, all our friends all over the world and i trust that yesterday you really enjoyed our prophetess uh, sylvia she's very accurate um, she speaks to government and and so this was a challenge for us. How serious are we going to be in these days to really overcome and to really see God move in our lives? Good morning, Nicolette. Just uh, why don't you just go online and just share, um, share and like and share. Just invite those that you need to hear, that you know need to hear this broadcast today. So let's just pray. Thank you, Lord. Father, we just thank you for this day. We thank you for this new week, Lord, and we thank you that we have the privilege of serving you today. We have the privilege of being alive at this time, Lord. This is such an exciting time. Father, we ask you to open our eyes to your word today. Encourage us, strengthen us, give us faith, give us vision. Thank you, Lord, for what you've accomplished in our lives this week and what you're going to continue to accomplish in Jesus' name. Amen. So, this is the seventh day of our fast, and uh, even if you're morning to Bocho, even if you're not skilled in fasting, uh, I want to encourage you just to take one thing, one little thing, and fast uh, your flesh. That's what the object is, just to become more like Jesus. Amen? And when we become more like Jesus, we will be uh, uh, ones who will understand and experientially know the breakthrough in our lives on a daily basis. So let's have a look at our scripture for today, um, which is found here in Luke 17, verse 5. This is the New King James Version. It says, The apostle said to the Lord, Increase our faith. And I was just um, thinking about this earlier and just praying. And You know what I felt? Um, the Lord just said to me that the apostles prayed this prayer because they saw Jesus moving in another realm. Jesus moved in a realm which was um, a heavenly realm. Jesus re- moved uh, from, he called heaven down to earth by his faith. He called the miracles of the spirit. He called the, the signs and wonders of the spirit. By his faith, they were released uh, through the Holy Spirit. Um, And so he lived in a completely different realm. And and I believe that the disciples, they saw this realm. And that's why they said to him, Lord, increase our faith. Now, yesterday's scripture was that of the breakthrough. Uh, Yesterday, we had incredible problems. I can't tell you the whole of Friday. You know, God is so good. We we had no electricity up until uh, almost half past nine, nine o'clock Friday night, the whole of Friday. And then... Can you believe it? Our fiber line went down because of the load shedding. And so yesterday morning we were um, 
uh, broadcasting off <laughs> our mobile. So it was really a faith venture. Good morning, Laureen from the United Arab Emirates. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So exciting. Um, and so we needed a breakthrough yesterday. <laughs> and so the scripture yesterday was, David went to Baal Perism and defeated them there. And he said, the Lord has broken through my enemies before me like the breakthrough of water. Therefore, he called the name uh, of that place Baal Perism. And so David broke through on the basis of faith. Okay, David break, broke through on his faith in God. And so there's this little picture on uh, of us on the uh, rowing on the water today. And that's where we are at the moment. We're rowing our boat on this great big uh, sea. Um, many of us, we don't know really where we're going. Many of us lack uh, vision, lack direction, lack encouragement. We lack faith. But you know, the scripture says in, in the book of John, it says, this is our faith that will overcome the world. Okay, our faith will overcome the world. And so the disciples said, increase our faith that we might overcome the world at this time. Okay, and so as we separate ourselves in this 21 days, we're separating ourselves to overcome the flesh. We're separating ourselves to overcome in areas where we are being tried and tested, in areas where we just... um don't seem to be able to see victory, as Prophetess uh, Sylvia said yesterday. You know, we get the victory and then three months later. But this has to be an ongoing uh, time that we would set aside maybe once a week after these 21 days that we would enforce that victory. And so the disciples said, increase our faith because, you see, without faith, it's absolutely impossible to please God. Faith brings the supernatural, faith brings um, everything that is given to us in another realm, it brings us down, it brings it down from the heavenly to the natural realm here, and so if we don't uh, use our faith based on the word of God, and so God has been challenging me about uh, areas of my body that I need to speak to, you know, I've had a, this problem with my shoulder for many, many months now, and I've just left it, it's a tendon that is, is really, really sore, and I'll treat it, but I'm not treating it with the word of God, and so he's been challenging me, speak over this, speak over this, speak, and as I've been doing that, my faith is growing, and I'm starting to see um, uh, relief here, I'm starting to experience it, why? Based on the word, he's healed us, he's delivered us, and so in, uh, how does our faith increase for finances, how does our faith increase for vision, how does our faith increase for our families? By taking a scripture pertinent to that situation and beginning to speak it, beginning to release it, beginning to call those things, Romans chapter 4, like Abraham did, he called those things into existence that are not on the natural earth but became part of his natural existence. Why? Because faith calls it in. And that's what Jesus did. He called that was that which was not part of the natural into the natural. Amen. So this is why Jesus said, increase our faith. Increase our faith. Welcome, Aleta. Renika, I've known Aleta for about 30 years, 35 years. And she was very um, key in helping to establish my ministry, uh, our ministry in the early days. Welcome, Aleta. Uh, and so we just thank you, Lord. We thank you today. We thank you for your grace upon us. Let's just begin to pray and let's just thank God. Father, we thank you for this day, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you would increase our vision, that you would increase our faith today, Lord. Give us faith that we can walk, Lord, in a realm on this earth today, which is totally different, Lord to the normal um, person on this earth, to the, Father, to the normal believer, Lord. We don't want to just be like the normal believer, which um, is faced with all these problems and faced with all these challenges, okay, faced with all these things around us, and yet we lack victory. We want to be believers, Lord, that can enter into a realm of faith, which is so far above what we are experiencing in the natural, 
calling heaven down. And so I thank you, Lord, for each believer watching this broadcast today, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for your grace upon us today. I thank you, Lord. Father, I call for strong faith. We release the spirit of faith, even the gift of faith. God is even going to cause the gift of faith to arise in some of you, the gift of faith for the absolute impossible. Yes, the people that have to see impossible breakthroughs. It looks like it's absolutely impossible in the natural. But God is saying to you today that he's giving you the gift of faith as you are faithful in the small and as you keep calling those things and you keep speaking to them speaking to those bank accounts speaking to that area where there's no work calling it in calling your family in calling healing over your body calling things into existence that are not as though they are the lord is saying to you yes your red sea will open deliverance will come. God is going to bring deliverance through your faith today. God is going to bring deliverance. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. We I just see impossible family situations. Impossible. God is going to break through for you. God is going to bring that deliverance. There's somebody that you've really been crying out to God and you just see absolutely no change. The Lord is saying to you, just be faithful today. Just be faithful today. Be faithful today. Be faithful today. And God is saying he has heard your cry. And it's just a matter of time. Just keep. You see, faith, when you're moving in faith, and you have to understand this, faith is not dictated to by um, uh, feelings. Faith is not dictated to by emotions. Faith is, is something which is a spiritual seed within us that we have been given uh, within us. Faith emanates from the spirit, not from the natural. And so I want to encourage you today, don't look at the natural. Don't think about your feelings. Don't let your emotions control you. Let the word of God control your faith today and your faith will begin to grow. Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you. There's somebody, you have an impossible situation with your son and God is going to bring deliverance to the son and to his family. There's, there's a... Um, a family here, yeah, uh, uh, it looks like a divorce situation. God says, I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to turn it around. There's somebody uh, that you're believing for your husband to return. The Lord says, your husband is coming back. He's coming back. He's coming back. He's coming back. God is bringing that man back into the home. But the Lord says, keep fasting. Keep praying. You, uh, there's somebody here that you're needing a, 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 an incredible breakthrough in your business this week. If you don't get this breakthrough, it's as if the whole plan and the purpose of the business is going to go under. God is saying to you today, you will have it this week. But call it forth. Study Romans chapter 4. Call it forth. Call it forth. Call it forth. I see this, the deliverance of this business. God is going to bring this incredible breakthrough this week. Father, we thank you today. Lord, I speak faith over your people today. Faith for miracles. Amen. Faith for the impossible. That's what it's about. Faith for the impossible. And the, I just feel that the Lord says in this time, if you will uh, stretch forth faith and if you will ride that um, that little boat in this great big storm, amen, God will set you apart and you will be known in the hall of faith. You will be known in the hall of faith. God is looking for people that he can put in in uh, Hebrews chapter 11, and that's the hall of faith, the great um, famous uh, patriarchs of the faith. And so, Lord, we thank you today. Lord, I thank you for a revelation of what it means to walk in faith. And the Lord is saying, start with small um, area start with small things if you've never believed God in faith start with small things have a faith vision today he's challenging us what are we believing him for for the future amen Lord we declare that breakthrough in the business yes Hebrews 11 we call it forth today Lord I thank you for your people today yes we thank you Lord we thank you we thank you we thank you oh let's just pray in the spirit Father we thank you today Lord you are faithful you are faithful you are faithful Lord you are faithful God is faithful God is saying to you today that he will show himself faithful on your behalf he will show himself faithful on your behalf this is a week 
says the Lord, that I will increase your faith. I see this going into this week. The Lord is saying, I will increase your faith. I will increase your faith. You're going to need faith for this week. Amen. You're going to need faith for this week. Yes. And the Lord is saying to you, there's some when you react in fear, you need to respond in faith and saying, I'm not receiving that fear. I'm not receiving this emotion today. I step out in faith and I choose to believe you, God. I choose to believe you. You know, there's somebody who's got a, a, a problem even with their petrol. I see uh, uh, you, your petrol budget is just going. God is saying, speak to the petrol in your car. Speak to the gas in your car today. Speak to the gas in your car and God will cause it to multiply. Speak to your food and God will cause your food to multiply. You see, this is the day and age where God is growing our faith, that he can work miracles through us. So, Father, we thank you today. We thank you. We thank you that you are the Lord of the breakthrough. And our breakthrough today comes through faith. And so, Lord, even today, as we go about our business, Lord, as, Lord, we stretch forth our hand of faith, God is just taking that hand and he's directing our faith. And so, Lord, I speak blessing over your people today. Lord, thank you for them. I release faith, Lord. Faith, faith, faith for the impossible. And as you walk in faith, you will see love will accompany that. And God will open your eyes and he will show you mighty and powerful things. Amen. So bless you today. Uh, tomorrow, be sure to join us. Uh, we have another guest. Um, and uh, Tomorrow morning is um, we start with praying for ministries for the week. So if you have a ministry, um, if you know anyone who um, you would like us to pray for them this week, we're going to be praying for ministries and really covering them at this time. So God bless you. We're going to um, have a wonderful week. I've got three guests lined up for this week. I won't tell you their names yet, but you'll be truly blessed. And thank you so much for joining us. Have a wonderful day and keep pressing in in faith. God is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. Amen. Don't forget to like and share so that others can receive that download of faith as well. The Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. Amen.